someone all around me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. All right, so summer games are finally here and we've got some skins, patch notes, and the return of Lucio Ball, as well as a new game mode, Winston's Volleyball. I'll be playing and checking this all out, and if you like this content, leave a like and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. All right, so let's get right into it. Oh, this is a new format. This is where it tells you everything. All right, Summer Games 2023 for 13 days. Kick back and enjoy the return of the Overwatch Summer Games. So let's see, we got Epic Skin, the one we saw on the title screen, Victory Pose, and then the Weapon Charm. All right, so two of these are for the game modes. This one's for the Winston, and this one's for Lucia Ball, and this one is just to complete a bunch of challenges. And there's player icons as well. So let's see, Battle Pass should stay the same, the shop. Would you like the sponge or the spray? Very, very nice. People have been literally asking for that since the first summer games. <laughs> Rescue Run, which is the Baywatch inspired intro. Very, very nice. Life buoy. All right. That's pretty good. And of course, the spray. All for $26. I am of the firm belief that no skin should ever be uh, even as like a bundle. Like it just it should not be anywhere near their price, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Poolside, I already own everything in here. Ritzy Cassidy. Uh, Your lips are moving, but I'm not hearing any sense. Sandcastle. Okay, this is kind of inspired. I really like this one. It's got the bright colors of the uh, plastics that people would use for kids' toys. And then the sand texture. It looks nice. That's good. And then these are all old. And then this is just for you. As you can tell, I play Widow and some Tracer sometimes. All right, let's see the challenges for the event. Six Summer Games event challenges. So this is the ultimate. Like you do stuff, you eventually get this. Half of these challenges are for the events. So for Lucio Ball or the Winston new game, or it's just playing games. So you're going to have to do a mix of both. Ultimately, if you play the event games, you'll get more because you'll win or just complete games. So that's how you do it faster. If you just want to play the game, then you'll at least get it looks like one, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like you'll only get a total of four of these challenges done. So you're going to have to play the event game modes to actually get the skin. It does look nice. Let me uh, see it in the hero gallery. Step into the ring. It looks nice, especially for an epic skin. This Winston's Beach Volleyball is 3v3. Oh, so it's going to be a custom map. Estadio Dos Gorillas, uh, limited hero pools. So you can only play certain heroes and you have to score 10 goals. Let's just jump in and uh, hopefully the queue won't be too long. Oh, oh, yeah. OK, well, it's the first day. Oh, yeah, that good summer. Uh, that good summer games music. I love those drums. Um, I have no idea how we play this. Hope everyone brought their sunscreen. Is Diva disabled already? There's probably a bug. Make some noise. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. <laughs> We're just, like, just staring at each other. <laughs> you oh, 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 oh. feel invincible! Hey, that's three hits. Are they allowed to do? Okay, so they're allowed to do more. I was about to say. Um, up to us eventually. I am unstoppable. Okay. Let's get a groove on. Sam, I, il. Turn it up! Turn it up! All right, we're all right. An amazing style. 
Oh, how did that miss? be honest that was way more fun i'm gonna play one more round these are the summer games all right we're in sydney Three, now two, if i remember this one. was the second one. Turn it up, turn it up. oh i went too high too high yeah i'll turn it up oh oh yeah. Oh, you want to hear that? Look. And there's the goal. I know. Look at that. Turn it up, turn it up. Bonus. 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 Oh, I keep forgetting. You want that? Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, this 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 arena is way better. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that map with the uh, thing in the middle, so you can wall ride really easy and get that speed. How'd I do? Oh, okay, yeah, I got a lot of goals. <laughs> Ask, I think, was the goalie. They were really good. It was really nice. Good work, team. Team. All right, let's check out the patch notes for the summer games and see what hero balance changes are have been done. All right, we saw this, the new event hub, which is a new centralized location for event information. So they're going to start putting it at the top now, which I think is really good. It actually highlights what's going on in the game instead of just, you know, going into the arcade and seeing what's new. Team Q for competitive is now in for anyone who wants to group of friends. Uh, this, this doesn't affect me, unfortunately. Right, let's see the balance changes. So Orissa, Fortify, damage reduction increase from 40 to 50%. I don't, I don't know if she needed a change. I thought Orissa was fine. And this just makes her harder to deal with, especially at lower ranks. They're going to struggle a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Ramadra, the Ravenous Vortex. 
the projectile now passes through enemy heroes, but is still blocked by barriers. Okay, so this is just like a quality of life change. Instead of getting body blocks, it just goes through. Reinhardt. Maximum health increased from 1200 to 1400 on barrier field. Hmm. You know, I never... Mm, it's always hard to say. I get scared whenever shields get buffed. Shields are scary. Um, I don't... It might be just the Overwatch 1 PTSD, but uh, it's a little scary whenever they change the health of the shield. Hmm. Wrecking Ball. Manual reload time reduced from 2 to 1.6 seconds. This does not affect the automatic reload while transformed into a ball, which is still too seconds. Um, I don't know if he needed that buff. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I really, uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Damage Sojourn. Uh oh, Sojourn. Railgun. Number of shots to reach maximum spread increase from 8 to 12. Okay, so you'll have more accuracy for 12 shots, which is a buff. And then spread it reduced by 12. Okay, so it's just straight up, they're just buffing her. The spread means that like it's, it's much tighter, which means it's a lot easier to hit your shot. As well as the spread not happening for an extra four bullets is... That's kind of scary, especially Sojo and I always thought it was still really good. Like, I know she was a terror at the beginning of Overwatch. I don't really think she stopped. I just think people got sick of playing her. Like, Sojourn is the one hero that if I play, I'm not scared of a tank in a 1v1. And you should be scared of a tank in a 1v1. So it's a... Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know about these changes. These changes are kind of scary overall. Soldier 76, my boy. Heavy pulse rifle damage increase from 18 to 19. Helix rockets explosion damage increase from 80 to 90. Biotic field healing per second increase from 35 to 40 okay so they're just giga buffing everyone like now the changes to the others are kind of like well you know what diva was kind of the powerful tank in the previous patch so i can see why she didn't receive a nerf they just buffed everyone else because she's the number one anti hit scan dps so like i guess this is okay because diva's running around i don't know though this this is kind of scary <laughs> like as someone who really enjoys playing and this is scary <laughs> symmetra but okay so i remember okay so i see them both symmetra and torb they said they wanted to take the power out of the turret and put it into the regular gun so let's see photon projector secondary fire maximum impact damage increase from 45 to 50 secondary fire maximum explosion damage increase from 45 to 50. Regen up to 30 shield health per second when primary fire deals damage to barriers or enemies with shield health. Oh. See, the Rhine shield buff no longer as scary. Interesting. Sentry turret damage per second reduced from 40 to 25. Yeah, that's fine. Turrets now reveal enemy heroes to allies while dealing damage for one additional second afterward. I'm gonna be honest. The turrets could still have a lot of damage. I just want them to get rid of the slow. Like, I just, I genuinely think if if they got rid of the slow, the turrets wouldn't be that bad, even with 40 damage per second. Because a lot of times, the reason why a lot of people die to turrets, I would say more mid rank, what gold to diamond, I would say that more of them die because by the time they realize they're getting damaged and are like, oh, I need to get rid of the turret, they're slowed down so much they can't actually do it. And so I feel like if you take the slow away, you could have the damage back up again. But uh, whatever. Torbjorn, rivet gun, secondary fire spread reduced from 5 to 4.5 degrees. Degrees. Okay. Deploy turret. Damage reduced from 14 to 11. Cooldown increased from 10 to 12. Mm. Overload. Now reload six ammo on use. Why six? Why not just reload? It's such a bizarre specific number. I'll, I'll have to see how this feels. I don't know. This one feels like it's situational. Kiriko. Healing of Fuda. Recovery reduced from one to 0.9 seconds. Okay, so they're stepping back a little bit. So they decided instead of allowing her to throw two kunai out in between weaving, it should go back to one to have that higher healing up time. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of liked the encouragement of weaving Tukunai in between the healing of Fuda. Like, I felt like it was more balanced for because she's essentially a damage support hybrid. And I felt like that encouraged that. But now this is more encouraging just focusing on healing. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is a buff. Uh, I just I just wish they would nerf Suzu, get rid of the boop, maybe get rid of the amount of heals or something like it, it could be an involuntarily. I don't care. But just like, why? Why are you touching all the other parts of her kit and not the actual thing? That's kind of weird. Kind of problem. Whatever. Zenyatta. Orb of Disco. OK. <laughs> all right. I was literally playing the other day and they, the other tank was raging because they were like, oh, I have perma discord and I'll, me as a Zenyatta, I was like, yeah, it's kind of my job to make your life miserable. <laughs> 
All right, so let's see what they do. Maximum range reduced from 40 to 30 meters. Okay. Time to wear off the target when not in line of sight reduced from 2 to 1.5 seconds. Uh, this is not going to really change much. I'm going to be honest. This is not... Yeah, no. Let's see if any bug fixes are technically patch changes. All right, this is a nice one. Fix an issue that caused some players to see the unranked map loading screen instead of the competitive play team lineup and map loading screen. I was sick of getting the unranked map loading screen. I got it all the time. I always, I just want to know what the average of the lobby is. All right, that's all I have for you today. So go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time.